Tickle now. Is, is that you? No. I'm not Dr. Tickle now. I'm the creature men like him made. I'm Sewer Thing. Holy shit. <laughs> is that a thing? It's a shit monster. <laughs> Quiet, Bobo. Listen, you. Whatever you are. What's the meaning of all this? What have you done with Dr. Tickle now? I did to him what I did to him. And what I'm gonna do to you. What? Fantastic, thank you, Night Knight. You saved me the trouble of having to track you down. Because of all of my targets, you are the most responsible for what was done to me. Well, that's a bunch of bulls! After you, there's only one more. Oh, no, no, no! And, and then I gotta let myself go with the rest of the suit. Stay right where you are, sort of thing. Take one more step. And Bubo and I will be forced to hurl our murderings at you. So what, Dark Knight? Your weapons will have no effect on me. Your silly murdering would simply go through me like a knife through butter. Or like do a pile of shit in this case. Whereas I can control all the shit. Of the city. No, I can't help this guy. No, 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 no. What the hell are you going on, bro? I stepped on a dead butt. Good lord. It's the blood in court. Dr. Ticklenaw. Here. I fed him a shit sandwich. But don't worry. There's plenty more where that came from. Come on, boys. Come and get it. <laughs> And once again, like a feral beast, Night Knight is at his most dangerous when backed into a corner, and so he resorts to a nighty night grenade and tosses it at the sewer thing. But as a result of the abundance of methane gas, a massive explosion erupts beyond just the initial explosion of the grenade. Basically, destroying an entire block of city, fires everywhere and whatnot. But thanks to the protective material of Night Knight and Bubo's super suits, they survive with only a few scrapes and bruises and of course the stench of feces. <coughs> oh man, oh, this whole block of city looks like a, a war zone. It's sad but true, Bubo. Yet. Another example of the pain and suffering inflicted upon innocence through the actions of Sewer Thing. Well, sewer Thing didn't throw the night night bomb. You did! No! Shut up, Bubo! It was an act of self defense. I knew it. I knew you were behind this bombing night night. Again, weapon, it was an act of self defense. That horrific Poo monster! <laughs> but kill me, Bubo. My other weapons proved to be useless. I had no other choice but to resort, the last resort, and use a night night grenade. Oh, come on. Not my fault that there was an accumulation of methane gas. It's just the way things worked out. But, but the, the blame clearly lies at the shitty feet of the sewer thing. <laughs> By the way, thank me later, because I've rid the city. Of that heinous, homicidal monster. Not gonna thank you for anything, Night Night. Sure, your night grenade did plenty of damage to a whole block of city, but it didn't do jack shit to the shit. Several witnesses with their camera phones caught a lot of footage of the creature running around from the explosion area and going down another manhole back into the sewer where several officers lost his trail. Lost his trail? How can you lose it? You just gotta follow the trail of poo-poo! The whole sewer is a trail of poo-poo, boobo. What? Uh, oh, yeah. Good lord. If the sewer thing is still alive, then the threat is not over. It seems he has a list of targets. Not only Mr. Older or Dr. Ticklenob, but me! And he mentioned 
One other. Yeah, that was probably me. What? No, Boobo. I mean, it, it, you're just part of the package deal of being my partner, so he would just kill you alongside me. So it, you don't count, stupid. What? If I don't count, then you should kill me. God, he's there. He's the question, of Shit, course, is why yeah. these specific people. Obviously, there must be some connection that connects them to sewer thing. Yeah, well, one wonders how it involves you, Night Night, because after Holder's murder, we checked out his background. Seems he was involved in quite a few shady deals. And uh, it turns out Dr. Ticklenob was one of his top clients, and I... Oh, damn it, why am I telling you this crap? You're not in this case, Night Night. You're lucky I don't arrest you. I mean, I can't because, well, you can't. Because if you do, a certain video goes to your wife. God damn it, Night Night. One of these days you're going to push me too far to the point where I'm not going to give a shit about that goddamn tape. I think enough shit's been given already. Get into your night car and go away. Very well. We'll go. If only to help you. Same phase with the public. We'll play this little game, even though we know who's really in charge. Well, who's that? <laughs> Shut up, Boomo, and get your ass in the car. But hey, hey, I'm scared. I mean, until we take care of this sewer thing thing, I won't ever feel safe. I won't ever be able to go to the party, because if I sit down on it, he might come up through it and get me. That's why we're going to find him, Boomo, and end his menace. Well, when that wet one's held, how are we going to do that? I mean, this is a big-ass city, and the sewer is full of shit. Who says wet one won't help us, Bubba? Well, wet one says it. <sighs> Dumbass. While he was spewing his usual whining, I was surreptitiously cloning his phone. So now I have everything he knows. Oh, that's illegal, Night-Night. Damn it, Bubba, what are you going to learn? In the war against evil. Necessary evils are necessary. Let's see what we got here. Hmm. Yes, yes, all the files here on the way of older. Hmm. Yes, he was managing quite a few criminal escapades. It appears Ticklenob was one of his chief partners in all of this, particularly in trying to gain access to dark matter. Of course, the connection must be poo poo. No, oh, stupid. Dark matter is that other form of matter that's lethal to Sun King. Oh, yeah. It gets him all sick. And sometimes it gives him the shits. <laughs> it appears there's only one other significant partner in this seedy deal. A woman by the name of Anna Clark. As it turns out, she's the director of a small chemical company that happens to be a subsidiary of Rexcor. Well, who the hell is he? Not a heat, dumbass. It's an it. It is the company of one Rex Rain. And as we both know, his hatred of Sun King would certainly put him in the market for dark matter. Uh, okay. Never mind, Bobo. I'll do the thinking. And my thinking tells me that Miss Anna Clark is the next target for sewer thing. And as it happens, she has an apartment in Richmond Tower. Great small worlds, Night Night. Indeed, Bubbo. We have it a moment to lose. Quickly, Bubbo, to the night cruiser. Oh, boy. But as the night cruiser speeds away towards Richmond Tower, Night Night and Bubbo took little notice of a drain nearby. A drain that leads to Cineopolis Sewer. And within Cineopolis Sewer, right there, just beneath the drain opening, was Sewer Thing. So, my next victim is Anna Clark. I didn't even know her name. So thanks to Night Night, not only do I know that, but I know where she lives. Looks like I'm gonna get the opportunity to kill two birds with one stone. <laughs> Oh no! Has Night Night only made matters worse? <laughs> well, 
Yeah, pretty much, but can our masked marvel pull victory out of his ass once again? Find out in the next exciting episode of Night Night. This has been a Nail Sin production. The Night Night theme song is performed by Alistair White and his lovely wife, Heather. Incidental music is courtesy of Kevin McLeod. All characters are performed by me, Douglas Nelson. Join us again, won't you?